Okay, go. Go. We have made it to Fazoli's, the fast food Italian extravaganza shindig. I'm also here at Fazoli's. <laughs> Woo! Yes, zaddy, I do. Give me brain like a menu. We've got all the stuff from, from Fazoli's, and I'm a little bit mad because three years ago when I was in high school, someone told me that they worked at this Fazoli's, and whenever I came through, they would give me something free. I never took them up on it, but... um. Right now, like, I asked if he walked there, and he, they, they didn't even know him, and he, I didn't get everything for free. So I had to spend the money to buy this food, which kind of sucks, but that's fine. I'm happy either way. <laughs> Welcome to the party. The Fazoli's party is what's on the schedule today. We live near a Fazoli's, and I feel like I don't take advantage of it enough. There's an Italian drive through Like that is a dream in and of itself. The drama with Fazoli's is there used to be two Fazoli's where we live, but now there's only one. So I just hope they aren't going downhill. I hope they're like at a plateau or going up. Yeah, one can only pray and hope. And yeah, because if they go away, it's like, then where is fast food Italian? Like this, category of the world is just gonna go into a sinkhole and never be alive again that's sad no there is sabaros but that's more of like an airport thing but fazolis we have to keep it alive guys so this video is to raise awareness please support fazolis this isn't an ad either i got us some utensils aka a fork and also there's a money tree behind us it's also called like a p something tree i don't know how to say it but pachira aquatica it's supposed to give you like prosperity, money, and like other shit, which is good because first of all, I'm mostly having it there for Fazoli's other business. Yeah, oh my God. This is the money trick for Fazoli's. You guys are gonna mark this video down in history when in 2030, Fazoli's is the new Chipotle. I'm not trying to give financial advice. I've never been to accounting school, but f invest in Fazoli's. Paper dividers. <gasps> what? It flew on my fucking face. Grease. Wait, what did? Grease did. Oh, yes. That's good. Oh, my God. I forgot there's Cheesecake Factory. Oh, I don't want to say that yet. Shh. Don't spoil that. <laughs> Coming up soon. <laughs> what is that? Oh. These breadsticks are really soggy, but, um... Mm. Oh. Who gives a... I'm gonna say I soggy. like a soggy breadstick better than a crunchy one, though. I'm not trying to be, like, a unique person, but people usually like crunchy fries. I like soggy fries. You're cool. I'm not trying to be offensive. These are better than Olive Garden to me. Mm, I would say they taste the same as Olive Garden. It's a bread stick with a bunch of butter and a bunch of salt on it. You can't really mess it up if we're being completely honest. If someone tried to hate on this, I just knew I couldn't be friends with them because they're one of those people that like has such high expectations. I'd punch him right in the face. For this video, we're gonna be ranking them from if you'd spank them or if you'd not spank them. And obviously if you'd spank them, that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. Getting a good spank from someone that you endale, someone that you love, is always a good thing. With consent. We're not talking about people spanking people in public without warning. Oh yeah, I'm not talking about like, I'm assuming someone's done this. Social experiment, what happens if I spank, spank someone? You. No, I'm talking about like, when you wanna get spanked, right right in the morning at eight o'clock. I would spank those breadsticks. I would spank. The first actual food item we're gonna be testing is boneless wings. weird for an Italian place. This must be new because I would have gotten this if I knew they had this like last time I went like two years ago. Yeah, I feel like wings are so big that like every fast food place thinks they need wings now. Like remember when Taco Bell had wings? That's disgusting. For some reason I have hope for these though. I mean, you can't really muss up a boneless wing. Yeah, bo 
Bone in wings, you can 100% mess up. Boneless, you actually, you're right. You can't mess them up. I kind of believe they just create these in a factory. And it has yeah. nothing to do with animals. And it's made with like, plastic? Yeah, I would assume these are vegan. Cause like, they might be like 1% chicken, but you know. Of course we got ranch <gasps> dipping sauce. I love how they have a Fazoli's ranch. It isn't Hidden Valley, they made their own. That's how you know they're doing business moves. Yep. This isn't a little joke for some old company. Um, over there, I guess. Oh yeah, all right, all right, there we go. We Here got we buffalo, go. by the way, if I haven't said that. Here we go now. You know, like you're in that song. I feel like, I feel like, I was like, here we go now. Did I just make that up? For some reason I was doing it, I thought I was like doing a, like a common thing. People just like, here we go now. Comment below if that's a thing. <gasps> that's why, like, I'm not trying to make you sound crazy, but that's why I believe those alternate universes. Because my <laughs> universes are never seen. No, but you guys know when you do something funny, you're, like you're so excited, you're like pouring chocolate, like, here we go now. Is that in like TikTok? I think it might be a thing, but I don't know. A little bit cold, but it's been mm. out, sitting out for like 20 minutes probably. Yeah, like you said, there actually isn't a way to mess those up. You can get ones in the frozen aisle that taste just like this. All of them taste the same. I could go to Walmart and get 20 different variations of the same thing. Mm -hmm. With that being said though, I kind of want to go towards not spank because you can get a way bigger bang for your buck at Walmart. Yeah, I, yeah, I was going to say spank, but you convinced me. If you're in the Fizzle's drive thru right now watching this, um, <laughs> do not order stressful. these. Do not order these. What I'm picturing is this boneless wing coming to life as a person. And I wouldn't let them speak. Mm -mm. I wouldn't give them the privilege. Now we have mozzarella. Oh. Oh, mozzarella scroll bites. Are these kind of a new thing too because Cheesecake Factory made the macaroni balls? <gasps> like putting cheese in a, maybe not. Oh, maybe putting that's anything in a ball is the new thing, I yeah, swear. Yeah, cause like there used to be mozzarella sticks but like now we need it in a ball. Oh. <gasps> that alone I'd let spank I do like the presentation. Yeah, you can't really like eat it like that because unless you're trying to like impress like your, I was gonna say impress. Imagine just, going to bed always in deep throwing this to impress <laughs> someone. I was gonna say like impress like your boyfriend. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it isn't good. They must up a little bit. I swear, like, this usually probably is better. It's so hard on the inside. I mean, it tastes exactly like a mozzarella stick should taste. It tastes like mozzarella y, whatever that means. Uh -huh. And it tastes like a mozzarella stick that's been, that's been sitting out for 20 minutes. It's a little bit how not stretchy. Like, you aren't gonna get that stretch factor. Even though they aren't that good, they still are. But, I don't think I would spank it. No, we're doing if this was, if you'd let them spank you. I know, I was confused on the last one because I was viewing it as me spanking someone. That's why I said like, by the way, like we'd make sure they're okay with it. Oh, we're not just no. gonna go to Walmart and like spank to someone. That's why I didn't even clarify consent because like, if I like something, I'm down for it. Oh, oh, so it's about if they would spank us. Oh, so do you want to reevaluate your past decisions? Whatever, we'll just start fresh here. Okay. So yeah, like, I wouldn't let this spank me because I just, I'm not that impressed. I wouldn't either. Yeah. Maybe a kiss on the cheek. Even then, I'd be like, no. Mm, no, that's, that's, too, that's too far. We're getting into the actual items now. Those are like the appetizers. Now we're into a rotini, um, a rotini thing. <laughs> which one's that? There's like a billion pastas here. I might have to look on the website, actually. <laughs> well, which one? This is penne. All these are spaghetti. What's rotini again? It's a small rotini. Oh, I mean, it's like that twisty noodle. I would say that's Rotini. Okay, well on to, I don't know it right now, but the, the um, screen count will say what it is. <laughs> to me, it just looks like pasta with red sauce. It looks very boring. <gasps> they mix the other noodles in. What? They're spaghetti noodles in the Rotini. What? I wonder if I would've been allergic to like just I the spaghetti am allergic. shake. I actually am allergic to it. because. I actually don't like things that are like long and thin. Wait, so then what are you gonna do? I guess it's time to I go to Yelp. I guess I just eat it. It's time to go to Yelp. When I first ate it, I had a positive review, but then my mind changed. This might take a while to explain. 
I first ate it and I was like, oh, I love this flavor. It just tastes like canned um, spaghetti sauce. Delicious. That's immediately what I can But can. then after, I got like a taste of sweat. And I'm not joking. Let me try one more bite. Yeah, for me, right away, I hated it. We don't have to go into this any further. Um, I love fazolis, but um, I don't know why I feel bad, but I do. Yeah, I hate it. I would not let it spank me. I wouldn't even let it in the same room as me. Me either. I would judge it hard. Now we have a cla classic pasta sample. Oh, I love when restaurants let you, you don't, you don't have to pick one. Oh yeah, you get everything in one meal. So I'm pretty sure this is baked lasagna, fettuccine alfredo, and meat, spaghetti and meatballs. Oh, okay. This is what I would be getting if I went to Vazzoli's, by the way. Yeah, it's like when you go to Olive Garden, you always get the tour of Italy. I want to go to Olive Garden, I'm thinking about it. It always feels like you're actually in Italy. I've never been to Italy, but I picture it to be like this kind of. Yeah, I've never been either, but for all the Italians watching, like, this is sort of the vibe, right? <laughs> <laughs> What should we try first? <laughs> this spoon must be so salty because I feel like I have to keep drinking Diet Coke. <laughs> like to get sugar in my mouth. <laughs> Let's try the lasagna. It's a really... It is a small piece. But I guess you're getting three. Yeah, I guess you can't complain. You can't expect a full size. It's just a sampler. <laughs> the condensation on this is kind of grossing me out, but... Cheers. I like it. It tastes like Stouffer's lasagna, if you've ever had that, which is, I love Stouffer's lasagna. It's I like good. how the little um, slabs of lasagna noodles, like they taste like fried almost, like hard, in a good way. Please tell me, if you woke up Fazoli's, is it actually made fresh? Oh yeah, it says everything is made to order. Like, so with, you're telling me that this lasagna wasn't sitting out of it. I'm just curious. Either way, I'm gonna eat it, but I just don't know if I believe the marketing. I know, because like making a lasagna from scratch every time someone goes through the drive-thru. <laughs> that isn't happening. Should we dig into the fettuccine now? Oh yeah. I don't want to like say anything off the bat, but I never like, I don't like Alfredo. Like you'd eat it though. Is what you're I would eat it, but like I'm just not a fan. That's another way I'm kind of different. I spilled some because I'm a disgusting ass. This one was a downgrade. The reason why it was a downgrade is because all it is is pasta in a cube with sauce. Like I would want some, I don't like broccoli even. Yeah, something, anything, give us something. But it wasn't bad. I like, if, think of this as a male. Like I'd be yeah, fine to have I it. actually, even though I don't like Alfredo, I did enjoy. Let's get into the meatballs. Oh, we have to cut meatball. I feel like if you want meatball. I guess it is a sample. I always have to keep that in mind. I know, I like, like I keep getting chickled and mad. I know. And then well, I we want meatball. And then I always have to I show myself like we on in a fight. I swear. Oh yeah, just a sampler. <laughs> <laughs> just for a tip, if you're in the drive-through right now, mix up everything because they don't mix in the sauce. Oh yeah. So get ready to do that once you get up to the window. I love a good frozen meatball. Mm. A meatball that's been, that was made a year ago, it was frozen. I'm having it tonight, like that's lovely. I know, they're always so good. What is in them? I'm not even gonna review the spaghetti, like the whole thing is a spank me. Yeah, spank, for sure. Now we have a chicken broccoli penne bake. Oh. Ooh. This isn't Penny though, is it? No. They didn't care about Penny, I'm guessing. Oh, this is it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my God. Tell it me this- It smells like fouts, but in a good way. Just look at this and don't give that, try to not give the reaction I gave. This is, it looks immaculate. Also the little tray. Like I just love this what comes in a tray like this. I don't care what anyone says. I could go to the fanciest Italian restaurant in Beverly Hills and if I got it to go, it would look like this. I, I haven't sure. tasted it, but it would look like this. Actual tomatoes. I know. Oh. Not fake ones from a factory. <laughs> I have to like do this. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what is that sauce? Jizz. I'm joking. It's just Alfredo. <laughs> Wait, so I do like Alfredo? I always knew I was a fake bitch. No, you like Alfredo when there's like multiple stuff on it. Oh my god, I love this. Damn. Yeah. They added a bunch of Parmesan cheese and Parmesan cheese 
tastes like feet, but in a good way. I don't know. But like this, this might be my favorite one so far. Spank, I would, it would spank me. Also just the presentation of it. I know it isn't about looks, but when I, when we opened it and I saw it, it was just, it really got me starstruck. Keep in mind, we ordered like 15 things and they still put in the uffle. I know, that's, they cared. Spank us. Right? Please. We have a spicy baked ziti with sausage. Oh! oh. <laughs> I think there's something about the penne for me in these last two. I think I'm a penne bitch. I like penne because it's so easy to eat. Yeah, so they have like full baked ziti bakes, but I decided to get this spicy sausage one because you know I'm all about my spicy sausage. Oh, these are baked ziti. Oh, ziti is so good. Wait, oh, did penne? Penne and ziti are like kind of the same. I actually They asked. look exactly the same. It's well. It's like a pizza. And the spice isn't very hot. If you're like, oh, I can't eat that spicy stuff, like this is fine. Mm. If oh, my mom something. ate this though, like she'd be like, oh my God. That's true. At first I was like, ugh. But now I like it. Like. It tastes, it's something different. I think what I love about these baked things is the layer of cheese baked on top. That adds oh. so much to the whole dish. Yeah, I think I'm a baked boy. I yeah. like when things are baked. Spank. Mm. Okay. Clean up on aisle two. <laughs> Do you get it? Cause like this isn't a grocery store. Yeah. We have a loaded baked spaghetti. Um. Oh, this would be baked. Okay, meat. bitch. How'd you get these off? Are you sure this is right? Oh, it's scuddy. Oh. Whenever something has loaded loaded in the title, you know they're coming for blood. Like oh, there's like, what's mushrooms in this, like sausage shit. You don't like mushrooms, right? Um, I it's just, it's just like neither here nor there. Like, I don't really want to put a label on it, but. Oh, I like that. So, like, y'all opposed to it. Yeah, it just depends on the day. Okay. This one is really adventurous. I know. Having a spaghetti in the baked format is a little bit rough, though. It's not as easy to just poke and get it some, you know? The other kind of about baking pasta is that the sauce kind of dries up. Yes, I was. I get what they were going for, but I am a, I'm cautious. <laughs> a little bit cautious. Okay, let's try it. Are the sauces different on each one? Do they have like 50 sauces in their back and they just randomly choose one? Yeah, I don't know, maybe. It's mm. good, I just mm -hmm. I'm don't not really know. liking it. I'm not liking this one. Like, I just don't like how it's spaghetti. Kind of making the whole process not as fun and there's almost too much stuff on it. Yeah, I think what's kind of triggering me and like putting me into a uncomfortable situation is I don't know everything that's on it. I'm down for mushrooms. Yeah. But then it's like, is there multiple meats in here? Because I don't like multiple meats. I'm yeah, not that type of person. It is getting to the level where I feel like I'm on fear factor eating this. Yeah. Like I, I feel like people are surrounding me and I have to eat this weird bug or something. Like there's just too much going on and I feel like there's a cash prize at the other side. And, but there isn't. But there isn't. So then you don't aren't excited to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> to exactly. eat it. Exactly. You know? So, obviously it's, it's a not spank. Yeah, do not spank. That's actually good. We weren't giving away too many spanks. Yeah, because this is just something that I know I wouldn't yeah. get next time. We can't be easy. You know, people are easy. I like virginity. Oh, no, it's not like easy, like, too easy to please, like, you know? Virginity is just a social concept. I keep being tempted to eat another breadstick. Do it. They gave us so many breadsticks and like, it's like, I didn't order them and like I'm thankful, but it's a ton. <laughs> um, now we have a chicken and like, I don't know how to say this. It wasn't chicken parmesan, it was like a chicken pauganago. That's some real Italian shit. <laughs> Stop me. I think it might be this one. Oh, this is it. Oh. That looks good. Oh, so it's like chicken patties. Yeah, this is what this is what it is. Da, da, damn, 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 Daniel. 
The Vans. Uh, I swear, like, who decide that? Who decide like that's funny? Cause no. like, I'm, I'm, I'm never for people saying that's not funny. But like, how? Like, what? Like, why is it funny? I now that time has passed, I feel like I can finally speak on that. Cause I'm not kidding. At the time, that was one of the first times. I think I was like 22 or something, and that was like one of the first times where I was like, okay, I guess I'm old and I don't get this stuff anymore. Cause I was like, this just isn't funny to me. But like now, I can finally speak out and say it. You know? I know, cause I've been silent for so long. And if you're watching, like, damn Daniel, people like, oh yeah, have, 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 like, oh yeah, we have different senses of humor. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like soap. <laughs> Don't. I taste soap. I didn't taste soap. I'm always down for a little Don dish soap in my food. Yeah, at least you know they're cleaning. Yeah, so what I are was we thinking? expecting more. I am sad, but I think it was just because of the soap taste talking about damn Daniel. So I didn't taste the soap, but I'm just gonna go with your lead because I believe you. But it wasn't as good as you thought, right? No, like, I mean, I was expecting like juice. Yeah, I thought it would just be uh, miraculous. And it wasn't miraculous, Miranda. And, <laughs> oh my God, if I was a judge on a reality show, like this would be my line for it. I'd be like, I was expecting something miraculous. Oh, let me start over. <clears throat> I was expecting something miraculous, but instead, all I got was mediocrity. And then they would zoom in on the person's face, you know? Oh. Like, you are going home, pack your bags. And like, then they would play that one sound effect, like, doo! I know, and it would show their face a bit, oh, and then they'd begin the confessional being like, I tried really hard, but Lucas isn't feeling it, I guess. I don't know, I tried my best. You really put me in that situation. Yeah, I said not no spank. Yeah, no spank. There's water everywhere from the condensation. I know. Why does that always happen with to-go things? Because they put water in. <laughs> Scientists sound off in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously so easy. It's hot in there, so it forms condensation. <laughs> but, like, I'm so dumb I don't get it. <gasps> I'm joking. But why is it raining in there? <laughs> I'm a really smart man. <laughs> okay. Number one time. Loaded fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> that looks like fettuccine, I guess. Oh no, this is what fettuccine is. Is that? Oh yeah. Go? Okay. I forgot about my Italian stuff. This also has mushrooms on it: bacon, broccoli, <gasps> chicken. I'm just gonna I would love chicken to know what Jersey Shore thinks of this. Okay, this one's already hitting. Like slamming? Yeah, like... It's like slamming. Mmm. <laughs> okay. My tongue is throbbing. Okay. Mm, it's good. I love the mushrooms. Fucking... Fucking, this is my nicest shot! <laughs> <laughs> also, this one's spread out more so you like, know exactly what's in it. I would let it spank me. Yeah, I mean, I if I was by myself, I would say no, but I guess I'll let it spank me. Can <laughs> you take one for the team? <laughs> what does that even mean? Now we have a chicken carbonara. Hmm. What's this? Okay, um... Yeah, I've actually ordered this at an Italian restaurant before. It's, um, pasta with bacon. Oh. Yeah. This looks, um, exactly like the other one, but with spaghetti. Let me get some bacon on. That's one of the big things about it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a Fazoli's sales associate trying to, like, get me to like it. <laughs> This always happens in the food videos, but like, I feel like I don't taste anything. <laughs> you don't? No, it's like too much stuff has touched my tongue, you know? I taste a lot of things. Like, I just don't love it. I mean, like, I'm down for it, though. Mm. Yeah, so I wouldn't let it make me. This isn't that good, and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. Yeah, I'm gonna say that, too, because it's not anything like, oh my gosh, it's so good. Obviously, I'd eat it. It just isn't like... That glamorous. I wouldn't not, have anyone eat this. I don't know if you like glamorous and Foggy's song, like, um, Force Class Up in the Sky. And this isn't Force Class Up in the Sky. Yeah. It's very, very... You know what? It's nothing. It's literally nothing. And everything. It's nothing and everything at the same time. Oh. 
There's nothing left. Pops Maroni. <gasps> pizza! <laughs> I forgot we had pizza. Pepperoni pizza. Now with Fazoli's, they only have like a few pieces. They have pepperoni pizza and cheese pizza. Which I do respect. So they're more of a pasta bitch. Yeah, I guess they know what's up, you know? They know- Yeah, they probably they figure Pizza Hut, Domino's, every- Pizza's covered. But you know what isn't covered? Pasta. That's true. They knew the market. Which I'm, I'm glad they did. I've had the pizza before and like, it's just basic little Cecil's good. Yeah. You all know exactly how this tastes by watching grocery store pizza, gas station pizza, yeah, water park pizza, basic ass pizza that always has this one taste. Like you know that taste of like a let yeah, me try it. Um, that real pizza doesn't have this taste. It's like kind of sweet or something. Yeah, I just think the dough isn't dough. Mm hmm. It's nothing too special, but but I like it. Yeah, same. To a soul point, it's like addictive. I know. I feel like there is a camouflage that's like, because like I just want to keep eating like a like a typewriter. <laughs> Does that make sense? Wow! Um, oh, lift it up. See a fingernail? Yeah. <laughs> spank us. Spank, spank, spank away. No, yeah, there's a pepperoni. That's the help one. Flatbread. Oh! Uh, I was about to blame them. I, I'm not gonna blame anyone ever again. I'm just. Wait, if we get through this whole order and they didn't forget anything, that's a testament to Vizzoli's. We ordered oh, like yeah. so many effing things. Most places forget shit. Oh my god. So this is a little healthy one, right? Yeah, it's like. Yeah. Isn't this the $5 for under 500 calories? It probably is. So it's like, I'm pretty sure they like market it. Market it. Mouth. Mouth it, 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 it. Mouth it, it is as a keto pizza. Ew, what's the, it's like not like bread? Well, maybe it's like, so, so, there's no carbs basically, so it can be keto, yeah. but it is carbs. It's like burnt on the bottom, but I think it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> is there anything on it? <laughs> is there even sauce? I don't think there's sauce, and there's pepperoni and bacon. Mm. Two meats. I don't like it. I do not like it. I hate it. <laughs> Wait, you like it? <laughs> I'm kidding. Do you actually like it though? Hold on. I have like a big piece of, um, a big piece of gunk in the back of my <laughs> I think since this is like keto or whatever the F, they didn't put sauce on it because sauce has sugar. Yeah, it literally sucks. It does remind me of like, I'm at this pool party. And they're like solving all doves, whatever the fuck that means. I think it's just a fancy way of saying appetizer. Oh my god, spelling contest? Oh doves? Okay. O L D E L S E S. Sorry, it starts with an H. Well? well let's see if I can even get it right. I probably won't. You can like t the editing will know, you know? Okay. H O R apostrophe D O U a D with a little asterisk. Uh D R. If it actually has an apostrophe in it though. Like, that's I'm pretty fancy. sure it does. That's fancy. Rich people words do have apostrophes a lot. You know what? Lucas won that spelling contest because he was way closer than me and I lost and I will accept that. Yeah, this is obviously not spank because this is like, it's good but it's just boring. It's yeah, shit. I hated it. And they market it as a healthy pizza but you might as well have a cheat day because like this tastes like shit. Yeah, like... Thank you ah! <laughs> yeah, you suck. Ass, and it's fine if you suck ass, but I'm just gonna use it in a negative kind of connotation. Of <laughs> now we're on to a breadstick. We've already up and had that. Now, last but not least, you guys might not be aware of this, but Fazoli's has pout noise. Partnered with Cheesecake Factory. Yes. And we got like a triple chocolate cheesecake, Cheesecake Factory themed. What the fuck? Why did they fucking type? You guys heard that correctly. They partnered with Cheesecake Mother Effing Factory. Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake. 
I am very confused. That's the most random partnership. Obviously, the giant corporation who owns all these restaurants also owns Cheesecake Factory. Otherwise, it isn't even explainable. I've never heard of a fast food place having like a restaurant's food inside. Especially like Cheesecake Factory, like I know like it isn't like so fancy, but like I view it as like higher end. Like I want to picture them to partner with them. I guess if you don't want to go to Cheesecake Factory, you want like a cheaper option, you can go to Fazoli's and still get a bite of it. I do have to say though, I am um, don't like like Cheesecake Factory cheesecake. What I mean by that is like, I'll eat a bite, mm, but after you have a more than a bite, it's kind of disgusting. Too rich and disgusting. But I do have high hopes for this one because I think it's a mousse, like a mousse type thing, which I love a good mousse. You know how it's soft and shit? Way. Rub a dub dub. Back that ass up. Back Put up, the mama. tits on my face and squirt them. Deeper, deeper. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh my, that is so good. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I take back everything I said. Oh my God. Wow. I do always say, it needs like some sort of like whipped cream though. <laughs> you know Why is mean? nothing ever good enough? <laughs> But, take a step back. If you got whipped cream to go, it would melt. Oh. So, how do you feel about it now? Now I understand. Because obviously, they thought it needs whipped cream. Then they thought, okay, but the logistics. But if they really took it into consideration, they could put whipped cream in a little side jar. I think that's kind of annoying. Thinking of getting the whipped cream and scraping it out, like, they know the average consumer, like, that's very stressful. Yeah, obviously, Spank. I, yeah. I said the most raunchy stuff, so obviously, I'm gonna speak to me. Yep. We tried everything and they didn't forget anything. High five Fazoli's. I'm just, this is a testament to the whole business. I know. Money tree, everything. Congratulations Fazoli's. There were a few flops. I mean, they aren't perfect. Nobody is. But I think the wins outweigh the loses here. Is that a word, loses? Uh, losses. Have... I do have to say, since this is like my first time going this in depth with like a restaurant fast food chain, I actually feel like, like I'm pastered out. Like the thought of eating anymore is very disgusting. Yeah, hopefully mama enjoys this cause I don't think I'm gonna have any more. Or yep. papa. Or granddad. Um, Fazoli's, as you could tell, like Lucas said, there's a few lasses, but honestly, give them the applause. You probably have all dreamed of a fast food Italian place with a drive-thru and now it exists. There's 250 of them across the nation. There's probably one close to you within 75 miles. Go to Fazoli's. You could even open up your own chain. A good investment. Actually, I don't know if it's a good investment, but let's just say Yeah, because they're kind of like, in our town, like one of them already shut down, but I mean like, yeah, maybe. If you have the... Uh, uh, someone's gonna break into my house. <laughs> okay, so before that happens, we probably should end this video so I could export to my computer before they break in. Um, tell us what we should review next if you have any ideas, if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to both of us. If you like watching Lucas eat, you can't watch that on his channel, but you still should subscribe to him. Goodbye, Z's. Bye. Bye!